Oh, right. I stashed... <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin, and I'm off. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? dropped a vase. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief. But they have good hearts. The Mad Hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. The wise princess is a runaway from a far off land. She won't tell anyone what she's running from, because just thinking about it makes her cry. She's friends with all the animals in the forest and has a kind and generous soul. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. The ice king is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh, I guess that was probably me. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Huh. Hey, you.
Is that the mangy muskrat? Think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. No way. Her box is still here? Oh. We did cover it in like a hundred layers of glue. In our barn. I don't know. I'm going to find out. Huh. At least you were spared. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. The stalwart moose is a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. The very old beaver is a helpful and industrious creature. She's the princess's most loyal friend. The moon hag is an old and powerful witch. She lures her innocent victims deep beneath the ice and traps them there forever. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Looks like this is coin operated. Stop sulking! Come on, Allison. Don't start. Secret keeper in her secret keep. No way. It worked. I wonder why it needed a coin. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. It looks like it moves. Oh. Some of the princess is running away from the mad hunter. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? Uh, it's not the same title, so I get the mad hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold lady cut off his other. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. The secret keeper is a traveling woman who buys and sells secrets. She stores all these secrets in the clouds because nobody ever looks up when they're searching for hidden things. The old bear is a mighty beast who lives in a beautiful cave of ice. He is in love with the wise princess, but 
she doesn't love him back. The gold lady is the wise princess's cruel mother, who sent the mad hunter to drive the girl back to the palace. 